Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to wrap a gift box. So over here, I have three different sizes, small, medium, large, and I'm just gonna demonstrate on how to wrap each one with this gift wrap paper, which is two feet wide, and it rolls out to however long you want it. All right, so first, you're also gonna wanna use scissors because the trick to gift wrapping is to use as little paper as possible. And the first thing you wanna do is get your measurements. So if you take a look at this box, you're gonna notice that this box needs to be wrapped on all four sides. So using common sense, you wanna measure the shortest amount possible. So when you take this, and you roll it out, all four sides would mean that it would go up to here. So, which means that you can cut it short this way. And now, as far as measuring this way goes, you just want to make sure that enough paper is going to be cut to cover the height beyond the halfway point. So just look at the height. You want to draw this imaginary line that's going to be the halfway point and you want enough paper to go over that halfway point. So that would be about this much over here and this much over here. As you can see, it goes over halfway. So I know I'm good. And then the other side as well, that's over halfway. And then I could tear this paper out. So let's give it a nice clean cut. And then again, like I said, four sides will be right here. All right. All this slack is actually going to make things more inconvenient because it just ends up being paper that's harder to fold. So I'm just going to take my scissor and cut straight down. Once I create that cut, I can fold it. So, fold and fold. And this part right here, you just want to do it tight. You want to push up with one end, push down, pulling. And then once it's tight, kind of want it to make sure that it's straight. Then I'm going to use this transparent tape. Scotch tape makes a good transparent tape that has a red box and that's my favorite to use. And put one piece over there and one piece over there to secure it. Then, as you can see, you could just take your finger and push in on those sides. And this works for any type of box. If it's a thicker box over here, you just want to push in and then create a crease right here on all of these edges. Just like that. And then do that on the other side. Create a crease, create a crease, create a crease, create a crease. And then once that crease is created, take both fingers and then fold this up and fold this down. Alright. Once that fold's created, you can take a piece of tape, put it right there. Take a piece of tape, put it right there. Now, some people don't like how that white part sticks out right there. So, if you're a perfectionist, you can fold that down to cover up that white part. And I'll show you on this side. So, this side right here has this part that's actually sticking out. So I like to put that side in first if you're a perfectionist. And on this other side, you can just fold in by taking your fingers and kind of twisting them a little bit and creating that crease right there. And that's gonna prevent that little white part from being there. So that looks cleaner. All right, then you just kind of want to tighten it. Same concept as before, I'm pulling down over here and I'm pushing up, and that's going to make for nice tight corners. Once you do that, 
the same as before. Put one piece of tape here, one piece of tape there. All right. So depending on your level of perfectionism, you can either do it like this or do it like this. All right. So that's a small square for you. Next, we're going to move on to the medium square, and I'll be right back after I change the paper. All right, so now we're going to wrap this medium sized box, and again, you want to use as least of amount of paper as possible, so I'm going to measure this time and see if this covers four sides on the longest side. This side's longer than this side, and again, one, two, three, four. That covers all sides, so I can cut it this way. And again, create a height for this box right here. You wanna go half over. So this imaginary line right here, you wanna make sure there's enough paper to cover over half. So I'm just gonna pull out. All right, this side is over half. And on this side, you want a little over half. So that looks like it's good. Just give it a nice tear. All right. I'll place this in the center. And then bring this over here over. And bring this over. And try to straighten it out. And then tighten push up, pull down. And once it's nice and tight, take a piece of tape, put it right here, take another piece of tape, put it right here, and then again, when you take a look right here, you want to push in, create a crease, Push in, create a crease, push in, create a crease, right there on those corners, and then flip it and do the same thing on this side. Push in, create a crease here, push in, create a crease here, push in, create these creases. And I'm gonna do this perfectly wrapped so that it doesn't show any white part of the paper. Fold this up, and this is an example of when you have too much paper. See, it goes over that halfway point. This is cutting into the top, and that's just too much slack. So the way around that is to take this paper and fold it down. So I'm going to create this crease right here, and create this crease right here, and then fold it a little bit so that it's not getting in the way. And this side doesn't really matter that much because it's just going to get tucked underneath anyway. And then once it's down, you can bring this side up. And again, on this side, you want to fold down so that you don't see any of this white part right here on this edge. So, fold down, create a nice straight line, and then you can pull down on the top part, and pull up on the bottom. Alright, tighten it. put a piece of tape in the middle. Okay, now flip around and do the same thing on the other side. Create this crease here, crease here, crease here, crease here. Pull down, then push up. And then over here, you want to just twist it with your two index fingers, middle fingers, and create that crease. Pull down, 
for sure. But try to create a nice straight line. and then again piece of tape here piece of tape here tape in the middle so that makes for a cleaner looking gift wrapping all right Again, I'm gonna move on to the big box and then I'm gonna change my paper so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, I have the large box and now I'm gonna measure, try to see if this covers all four sides and it definitely doesn't. So I'm gonna have to roll it out and measure it this way. So the easiest thing to do is just take the paper and roll it out with the box. So one, two, three, and four. So that's clearly gonna be enough because I know it wraps around. And once I have that measured, I'm gonna cut. that sheet of paper long lines and okay. once you do that Again, you push up and pull down. You try to make sure that these line up. And you're gonna take your piece of tape, put one right here. Then while you're holding over here, put a piece of tape up here as close to the edge. You could feel the edge right here and the edge right here. And then, you're going to push up like that. Create the edge over here, create a crease, push down, create an edge over here, do the same thing on this side, push down, create an edge over here. Down, do that edge over here, and flip it to the other side. Do the same thing over here. Push down, create an edge. Push down, create an edge. Pinch, create an edge. Pinch, create an edge. Okay. Now this is where it gets tricky. So that. It's easier. You can just fold here and fold here, kind of sloppily. You just want to fold this part down because it's just extra slack. Create a crease. Create a crease so that it's less than the height. So if you take a look, this is going to be less than the height and you can fold it down. Now you can fold this up like that. Now I'm just going to leave this like this for now and work on the top. So this side, you want to push up one side and then you want to fold this down less than the height of the box. Okay. And this side doesn't really matter because this side's getting covered up anyway. So you can push down really hard. Now this side, you want to do one of these and fold this halfway down. 
way. We want to make that line kind of parallel to the others. And pull down and push up. So create that crease. Once you're happy with how parallel your line is with the edges, and now you're just going to tighten. So I'm pushing up and pulling down. And once it's tight enough, put a piece of tape there, a piece of tape there, and one in the center. Now, getting back to the other side, doing the same thing. This is hidden, tucked underneath. And this side you just want to fold up and then align it so that this edge is going to be parallel with the bottom of the box. Once you're happy with where it is, push down and create that crease. Push up over here and pull down and put a piece of tape right there and a piece of tape right there. And one more. All right. So that's the big box. Big box medium box, small box, done. Just in time for the holidays or whatever festivity you're wrapping for. This is Rob from Justin's Toys. Hope this video helps. Let me know how it goes and thanks for watching. Bye.